Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And uh, we're going to start a, uh, a four-part series for the rest of the week today. And uh, I'm going to do another one of those things where we um, take a look at one scripture, but we kind of isolate different parts of it so we could really spend some time unpacking what it has to say and uh, and what the Lord might uh, have to share with all of us here today. So this morning, I'd like to direct your attention, and for the next uh, few days, to Psalm chapter 51. Psalm 51, and we're going to look at verses 10, 11, and 12. Now here's the setting <clears throat> of this verse. David has uh, made some pretty bad mistakes. Uh, he has been caught in sin and uh, he uses this psalm in Psalm chapter 51 to kind of write out his prayer of forgiveness and his prayer of repentance. And I, I, I want to share these verses with you today to encourage you that uh, we, we can win this battle against sin and temptation. And it happens to the best of us. It happened to David who is called a man after God's own heart in, in other parts of the scripture. And um, uh, the, the words here are just really beautiful and are really great for us to, to, to learn from. So take a look at the screen. Verse 10 of Psalm 51 says this, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. That first, uh, that first sentence that, that David prays is the one that I want to focus on today. Look at it again. He says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Uh, David, David makes a couple of statements here that I think are good for us to make regularly when it comes to dealing with the mistakes that we make. Because here, here's the deal. Here's the deal, okay? I, I've, I've met a number of people who never get over their own mistakes or, or when they realize that they've been unfaithful to God or they've been, un, they've been disobedient or they've been you know, however you want to call it, they've been less than what God expects them to be. Uh, a lot of people just never get over that. They, they just kind of say, oh, you know, I guess I'm stuck this way. And, and David prays this prayer. He says, God created me a pure heart. Notice what he didn't pray. He didn't say, God changed my actions. He said, created me a pure heart. Because here's the deal. If God can change our heart, then he can change our habits. See, the problem with a lot of us is we try to be successful Christians by changing our habits without allowing God to change our hearts. And David's first part of this prayer was this. God created me a clean heart, a pure heart. And then he said, renew a steadfast spirit within me. Um, he said, renew it. So there was a steadfast, or what do we mean by steadfast? There was a consistency that David had in his worship and his following of God. It wasn't on again, off again, on again, off again, but he was very, very loyal and very determined to stay loyal to God. But then something happened. And David is praying this prayer, God, change my heart. And then give me back that consistency that I need to live for you, not just on a minute-by-minute minute thing, but, but God, every day, every single day, may I live for you. So, uh, friend, uh, if you find yourself maybe dealing with a, 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 an issue of disobedience or, or, or maybe spiritual failure, would you start off by praying the same thing that David prayed? B before you ask him to change your habits, 
have him change your heart and ask him to give you that spirit once again where you can be consistent and steadfast with him. Okay, we'll continue this tomorrow. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.